Here we go, 360. The Truman Show. Let's go. 360 on a big run right now. Braden Fun Films, Nick Ray, Taylor Kippin. There we go. Hugh Rogers. I wake up on a daily like fuck this though After finding my life has been one big show Now I'm searching for answers and come this close But the truth has been undisclosed When you're gonna play yourself on a daily it comes in I don't think I've heard 360 hop on a beat like this in a minute Yeah, it's been a, it's been a while It's good to hear him back on this harder sort of stuff yeah. I really like the cinematography in this too it's Yeah They've done a really good job recreating all the Truman Show Yeah, 100% and stuff. So Truman Show is that film about like the guy whose life is literally just a show, right? It's yeah, like yeah, not yeah, real, yeah. It's, everything's been filmed yet Yeah, it's a Jim Carrey movie he's, That's right, He's yeah. like the only one who doesn't know that this is all fake and yeah. It's like a big social experiment That's it, yeah Yeah. So, yeah, so obviously that's obviously, the analogy Obviously, yeah, you can draw yeah. a lot of parallels between 100% artists. I mean, yeah yeah, Braden Fun Films um, has done so many amazing videos and has been around for a hot minute as well. And yeah, yeah he right. just keeps getting better and better, man. So yeah, yeah. big shout out to Braden there. This close, but the truth has been undisclosed. When you're gonna play yourself on a daily, it comes at a price. How they rate this determines your love of this life. Every character I've ever met is done by design, so I don't know if they've been genuinely fucking with mine. When I first woke to it, was lonely in here. Had to learn how to make it work over the years. In a cloud full of doubt, what's depressing me now? Is how breakdown will be my episode of the year. There's, there's so okay, so there's so much going on, right? What first off, from a video standpoint, there are so many different scenes and locations right now. Yeah, yeah, they're really doing a good job of recreating all the iconic scenes from the the actual show. The from beats the actual. really dope too. I really yeah, like this beat. yeah, really, really interesting. And that's what I was then going to talk about. There's like right. loaded bars that you could be like digesting. Like there's going to be a lot that we miss first time round, like as you do with a first listen through. But like, yeah, yeah there's a lot of content packed into this. In a cloud full of doubt, what's depressing me now is how breakdown will be my episode of the year. Self-destruction is one thing they always watch. The more fucked up, the more they want. See your ratings disappear, so they drop in any positive shit. So now misery is all they got. Seeing everything is So is he basically saying like people are waiting for my downfall, people are waiting for yeah. my breakdown kind of thing, and that's more entertaining than me doing well? Well, yeah, that's the unfortunate reality, especially these days with the whole clickbait era and just negativity being so widely consumed and that's yeah. the things that sell and that's the thing people are interested in and yeah he's definitely pointing that out and highlighting it. it's interesting how much he's kind of coming from the perspective of actually being literally truman in the truman yeah show yeah and yeah, also yeah just drawing those parallels yeah yeah Cool. Like he's really leaning into this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The metaphors, hundred percent. This appears that they drop in any positive shit. So now misery is all they got. Seeing everything is theater. Every single show controlling all the views to generate their own. I can never let it go when it's everywhere I turn. Always putting all this doubt into everything I've known. Consumed and a little bit confused when you listen to the news. They giving you the spin and never giving you the truth. Algorithms are predicting every single thing you do while controlling every issue we are interested in too. Now I'm cynical. Of everything I'm battling through. It's mad because it has such heavy hitter vibes, but then he's being so like like honest and vulnerable with what he's talking about and so conscious about, you know, the subject matter. But then I'm just hearing 808's knock at the same yeah, time, you know? Yeah, 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 it's yeah. the same with like his um track with Joel Fletcher and Knowing My Place. It's like it's one of these like hard style kind of bangers. But then at the same time, he's like also actually saying something as well. Yeah. Like 360 is all about substance. He's good at that. Yeah, yeah he's, very, he's very good, at, good that. at that. Very good. Yeah. Especially so. like lately, I feel like since he, he's he's come back, uh, he's really he's really gotten on those really hard beats. Yeah. But his lyricism is probably better than ever it's ever been. I yeah. Think. No, definitely sounding polished for sure. We well controlling every issue we are interested in too. Now I'm cynical of everything I'm battling through. Is my life even real? Is my family true? Does my wife even feel that she married this dude, or is she simply being cast as a character too? Every day we behave like we trapped in a zoo. That'll happen with a man in it too. We becoming fucking animals, attacking one another in rage. You try escape this reality too. Now this will be the end and of us. They watching us every minute, so we never on us. They want us crossing a line just to get them off us. It's pushing us to a limit we ain't never wanted. Yeah, with all eyes on me, they look but they might not see. I'm running for dear life every night, so you'll find you'll never be getting. He's even got like the borderline melodic stuff going on yeah, here. A little yeah, bit yeah. of a slightly different delivery. A little bit of like a two pack sort of reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I hear it. I hear it. Mind off me. Nah, nah. All of us 
you were born in this game They force you to play They keep in a score of the points that you make Every person you've met And word that you've said There ain't no escape from the choices you've made They revel in a lot of mistakes Instead of quality traits I don't care, I've got to escape They create every lane that they got you to take Then they force every turn that they want you to make They say I'm crazy one thing I will say about the video, they have introduced a lot of the scenes um, for the video very early on, and there's not much storyboarding going on. So, uh, you know, there's so many creative, really cool sets and shots here, but they're where they were established in the first, like, 30 seconds. It's now we've seen the same scenes, and I don't think there's been very much that's new over yeah. the course of the video so far. It doesn't seem like... Yeah, they're really going for necessarily to play out too much of a story, I suppose, other than just, you know, referencing back to the original movie. I yeah. guess, you know, and really, yeah, just kind of, yeah, drawing that parallel, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy, shit, I know that. Fighting for my life, I'm trying to get my own back. All this misdirection, grabbing their attention. Head the other way, now I went and made my own map. Gotta ask the man in the sky, is it mostly a dream? Stole me, I can't go to police. Why does nobody see? Got a voice, but when voted to speak, to make a choice for a world you weren't chosen to leave. See every trial you want us facing, try put me underground. I got up blazing, so addicted to the coin that you got us chasing. Every single thing we doing is for product placement. Feel the need to speak. Found a wrong tree for me to bark up Never been a fighter but I'll start one Went and took a life you knew you couldn't pass up Went from playing God to believing that you are one Now this'll be the end of it I'm sick of holding the front up that I'm never dropping I'm feeling it in my stomach that I better stop it I've gotten over this ride so I'm getting off it Yeah, with all eyes on me, they... Yeah, I know what you mean with the two-pack reference now Yeah, very, very reminiscent I think I prefer the concept and the message behind this song to the actual song itself if that makes yeah, sense yeah, yeah, like i think yeah. it's a really really cool idea and i don't think it's a bad song in any way shape or form but i think a couple of his recent releases have been much much stronger mm. um i honestly prefer this a lot more to the uh the joel fletcher oh yeah yeah i yeah yeah, yeah. I, I mean from a hip-hop standpoint yes i prefer this to the joel fletcher one but like made me like or made me do this um I think that's a lot stronger. And uh, what did he do earlier this week as well? Fuck. I'm not cheating by looking yeah. in the suggestion. I promise I knew what the song was off the top of my... Yeah, Made Me Like This was way stronger. And what was the other one he recently did? I only covered it earlier in the week. Fuck. Can't be that good if I can't remember it, but it is. Um, nah, on a level, yeah. It, what, what I do like about what 360 is doing is he's bringing different flavors to the table. So depending yeah, on yeah, what yeah. kind of style you like, whether you, whether you like him or not, at least he's bringing different things to the table. So I suppose there's going to be some 360 stands that are going to just love everything he does. There's going to be haters that are just going to hate everything but yeah. then there's going to be lots of us in the middle that are going to kind of prefer things to others i suppose yeah i think he is a versatile artist yeah for sure and i think this is a it's probably i haven't actually heard that other track that you just yeah referenced but yeah i as far as 360 tracks that have dropped recently i feel like this is probably up there for me yeah yeah okay i hear it look but they might not yeah. see yeah. i'm running for dear life every night so you'll find you'll never be getting mine off me nah nah very dope concept though. Yeah, yeah. Very cool video. Yeah, yeah. The Truman yeah, yeah. Show. Yeah, that was a very dope video. Boom. Truman Show. The Truman Show, hey? What's what's our overall thoughts? Um, I liked it. I thought it was good. I yeah, I'm not necessarily that into 360, but as far as, you know, his recent drops, I think this is probably one of my favorite ones that he's done. And yeah, I would Yeah, I'd put it up there. Nice. I I uh kind of go the other direction i don't think this is one of my favorites of his that have dropped recently but i still think it's a good uh solid end product yeah. i like still respect the amount of time and effort that's been put into this um and definitely um definitely can can see that 360 is really giving it a good go in this newest run um yeah. that he's doing at the moment definitely you can see he's putting the time and effort in i think potentially the the message in the track sometimes got a little bit convoluted for me. Like I wasn't, I wasn't necessarily sure if he was sort of using the Truman Show as a metaphor for what it can be like as an artist, you know, facing all this public scrutiny all the time. But then there was a fair few lines that seemed extremely specific and literal, like from the perspective of Truman in the actual yeah. show where I was like, what, 
I kind of got a little bit lost there. I was like, what is he doing here? You know yeah. what I mean? Like all the stuff about his wife that like, I'm not, I don't think yeah, 60 yeah, has yeah. a wife. But yeah. Anyway, I thought it was a good track. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, still a really solid effort. Um, big up to not only 360, but everyone a part of the team from videographers to producers. And um, yeah, big up to your mum. <laughs> yeah. Especially your mum. Especially your mum. Especially your mum.